Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're enjoying the sunshine and the warmer temperatures. It's a, it's a beautiful day that the Lord has given to us. Earlier in the week, I uh, talked to you about uh, one of my favorites, uh, 1 John uh, chapter 3, verse 1, that uh, tells us about the great love of the Father. That verse ends with the, uh, the strong statement, the world uh, does not know us because it does not know Him. Uh, the world uh, that we live in uh, doesn't know who we are, doesn't know about us because uh, the world doesn't acknowledge that uh, the Father is in fact the Father. Uh, they don't know us because they don't know Him. Uh, it reminds me of the story that Jim Krause, a longtime publisher of uh, Tyndale House, uh, told about uh, the family dog whose name was Rufus. Rufus, the miniature schnauzer, uh, was like many dogs and did not like to travel. Uh, the problem, though, is that Rufus uh, didn't like the kennel even more. So uh, they decided that they would take uh, Rufus along with them on the, the, the trip from uh, Chicago to Atlanta uh, when they were going to visit some family there. Uh, so they got Rufus in the uh, tucked into the back of the SUV in his uh, dog crate where he always uh, would stay overnight. They put a nice uh, pad in it so that he could uh, uh, sleep along the way and sure enough Rufus surrounded by his family in uh, his familiar surroundings of his crate eventually went from stiff-legged like he normally would uh, when in the in the vehicle to uh, laying down sleeping comfortably. He made the trip well. Well, all along the way, they stopped and uh, Jim would click on the, the leash onto Rufus and uh, take him for a walk around uh, wherever they were parked. And Rufus, with uh, the way that only a dog can communicate, would look up at his, uh, his owner with his uh, doggy eyes and say, I've not been here before. This is a strange place. This is not home. As you see, uh, typical for Rufus, though, he didn't like to go in the car. He'd have to go to the vet or to the groomer or even to Dairy Queen. And uh, at the end of the trip, he would end up back home to his familiar place. This was a new experience for this dog. And all the way along, he'd give that same look. This is not the right place. Well, eventually, the Krauss family ended up uh, in Atlanta with their family and uh, family members that they were visiting. And Rufus uh, settled in as best he could, yet he was uh, troubled all through the, the, the visit because it was not his home. Uh, Jim went on to uh, uh, muse about the fact that Rufus teaches us a lesson. It's a lesson about, well, what is stated there in 1 John chapter 3. The world is not our home. Uh, we are put here. We are here. Uh, this world is where we are right now, but it's not uh, where we're meant to be forever. In fact, uh, as uh, the Bible describes for us, we are in the world, but we're not of the world. We are here uh, to speak the good news of Jesus Christ, to live out the good news of Jesus Christ. But as uh, followers of Jesus Christ, uh, the world does not know us because they don't know our Father. They don't know our Heavenly Father who has called us His children. So as we uh, walk the pathway, as we go on this journey called our lives, we know that uh, we can be uh, settled in knowing that we have a Heavenly Father, but we also know that that longing within us to be with Him uh, was put there by Him, and that there is a, a bright future ahead of us where we will dwell with our Father for eternity because of what the Son did to take our place on the cross and to rise again the third day so that we can be forgiven and that we can be with our Father forever. Well, I hope you have a great day and God bless you.